Hey folks, Dave here. I appreciate you stopping by for another video and I hope everyone's well today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I'll drop links to our projects and tutorials down in the description. And if you get a chance to check those out and have questions or comments, just let me know. And I'll be glad to help out in any way I can. So I think today's video will be pretty quick. Uh, I've never successfully uh, etched or lasered onto glass. And I've got an old uh, cooking pot lid that uh, we're going to put some black paint on and give that a try. Uh, so we're just going to go with some simple text. Uh, so grab some text. And I've got a script here that is free. I picked up at defont.com. And I'll drop a link to that down in the description. The uh, font is 100% free, so you can uh, use it in a commercial capacity, which is a good thing. So we're going to use regular fill, and I think I'm going to make this about, I'm using a 40-watt laser. I'm just going to go speed of 40 and power of 30 and I have no idea if that is good, good uh, settings or not but we'll find out so the reason I'm using fill let me get a preview on that and play it through and it's probably behind my face I'll pull it up size I can regular fill goes side to side and you can even go into settings and turn off the bi-directional setting. And it'll actually do a better job. So we'll go do that in just a moment. But in this scenario, uh, with bi-directional on, it, it engraves in both directions back and forth. Uh, so you can go in here. And then you can turn off bi-directional. And it'll take a little bit longer, uh, but it'll be a smoother uh, engraving. At least that's what I understand. We're going to find out. Uh, now, if we had chosen to use offset fill here, we'll go back to the preview. It's more of a circular motion. We'll play that through. You can see how it jumps around, uh, but you can see by the texture, it's moving more of a circular motion, and it shakes the, the gantry and the laser head around. So when you're doing something small, I would uh, definitely recommend the standard feel. Now, if you're doing something larger, uh, you can certainly save time by using offset feel. So they're both useful. Uh, they just they have their place. So we're going to switch this back to fill. And now we need to go throw some paint on our pot lid. And uh, we'll do a couple of coats. And uh, then we'll get over to the laser and see if we can put this on there. Okay, folks, I'll be right back. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit with some with some alcohol. To get off any residue, grease, anything that's on it. I tried this one before with uh, a wet paper towel, which I've seen other people have success with. Maybe a different glass. This is, I'm sure this is tempered glass since it's used on a, uh, a cooking pot. Uh, also tried blue painter's tape. Didn't have much luck with that either. So, I'm going to use black paint this time. Just a uh, black acrylic quick drying hobby paint. And we'll see how that works. We'll figure this out together. So, just some hobby paint. If I can get some to come out of, out of here. There we go. Oh, yeah. And then we're 
we're just going to smear it on. We got some new pots and pans for Christmas, so I have some uh, some leftovers to practice with. And if we can't engrave on it, I'll toss it and we'll try something else. That's probably plenty. So I'll let that dry, put a second coat on, and uh, then we'll get over to the laser and see if we can uh, get this done. Okay, I believe it's dry enough for a second coat. Put a little bit more on here. Maybe. There we go. And we'll let this dry. And pop it in the laser and see what we can do with it. Okay, folks, we are ready to try this. And like I said, I've never successfully etched or engraved on glass and i have no idea if these settings are correct uh, but we'll give them a try i'm gonna have my safety gear on and stand way back just in case uh, i understand that tempered glass is uh, more likely to shatter and more dangerous to etch on so i'm gonna get out of the way and if uh, something crazy happens, we will all see it together. Hopefully it works. Uh, if not, I've, uh, I've got something else that we can, uh, we can try. But uh, let's give this a try. All right, I'm going to send it over. Well, folks, we got through it without the glass exploding. So I'm going to clean this up and see what kind of uh, what kind of imprint we had have. And while I'm doing that, I want to try another piece. I want to try another piece with the same settings. So this jar here, which. Uh, which is a different kind of glass, just a uh, regular jar glass, whatever that is, <laughs> but it's not tempered. So, uh, and I've got uh, just some semi-gloss spray paint on it. Uh, maybe it's the same paint. I don't know. The can I use doesn't say acrylic, but who knows? So I'm gonna set this up, give it a try with the same text. It looks like we had success, but we'll clean it up and see. All right, that looks pretty good too. So let me clean this up and uh, we'll take a look at both of them, see what we got. Be right back. Okay, folks, so here's what we've got all cleaned up. And it worked, but it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a start. And for the first time doing it, uh, it's not bad at all. So like I said on this one, I used a uh, acrylic brush paint and you saw me brushing that on I put two coats on this one I just had one coat of a uh, spray paint semi-gloss black uh, so I, I see people have their best luck with uh, tempera paint which is basically just a watercolor paint I had to clean this off with uh, with some alcohol it came off pretty good. I think this one is really good for uh, 
for tempered glass because I've seen people have problems with that. So you've got some base settings uh, from, from mine. And again, mine's a 40 watt laser. Uh, yours may be much different. And even among lasers that are the same, uh, settings can differ. Uh, because it can depend on how much run time you've had between cleanings, uh, what type of lens you have, all sorts of variables that come into play. But it is, uh, if you own a laser, it's trial and error, but it's also just as much fun. So uh, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned something. And uh, like I said, it is my first time doing this. And as I get better and learn more, I will certainly share it with you folks and we can learn together. So I really appreciate you folks watching. Uh, it does help the channel grow and I enjoy doing the videos and sharing and uh, it can, uh, it helps me learn from the comments that people make and I uh, pick up tips and tricks to, that are helpful and then I can share them back out with other viewers. So uh, just check back often for new videos. You folks take care. And we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.